What's good, YouTube? Crazy 2094 here, and uh, this is actually just a tournament match between the Elite Four and Gym Leaders and all that of Pokemon Global. I'll leave a link in the description to that group. Uh, I'm running a uh, Bug Water combo for my Elite Four team, and this guy's running a looks like normal and psychic combo for his gym team. I believe he's a gym leader. So I'm going to lay off with Butterfree and uh, Gamma actually. He asked for double battle, so I thought he had a dedicated doubles team. And I was like, oh great, I'm out of singles team to a doubles team. But, yeah, look at that KO Thunder. Galvantula is something to be afraid of. And then I'm going to put Mr. Mime to sleep, which of course is going to activate Sleep Claws. Even though this is a double battle, but that's kind of okay. So I'm going to get my Galvantula out of there, because I'm slightly afraid of what's going to happen. And, uh, go ahead and put in Cloyster. And let me tell you something. Cloyster is way too good. Way too good. So I set up a Quiver Dance, and uh, the Mist Mime's gonna wake up like on the first turn? I, I, I don't even know. That's kind of odd. But uh, the Blaze is gonna go for the Flamethrower on Cloyster, expecting to hit that Galvantula. And I'm gonna go for the Bug Buzz. I kind of took a gamble here that they would um, kind of gain up on Butterfree. Which I was slightly hoping because I didn't want Butterfree to set up all day, every day. And so I used, the, my, I used the kind of hopeful wishing to go ahead and get Cloyster set up. And basically, I was right. They gain up on Butterfree, which is awesome. I love it. So Cloyster just got free setup. And uh, you know what happens when Cloyster gets free setup. Bad things happen. So I'm going to use Cloyster to just KO the Mr. Mime, because I didn't know if Butterfree was going to break through Paralysis or not. And I wanted to put something to sleep if Butterfree did. So yeah, I go ahead and put this Licky Ton to sleep. And then Blissey's going to come in, and I'm just going to hit with all that Icicle Spear. I mean, look at this. Look at this massive damage. Cloyster is way too good. It's insane. Um, yeah. Okay, so I go for the Bug Buzz, and this Licky Dun's obviously holding the EVO Light, and it obviously is specially defensive, and a Sleep Talk set by the looks of it. So Porygon Z comes in, and I'm like, hey, let's fire off more Icicle Spears. I mean, look, look at this. This is ridiculous. Cloyster is just, whoa. Cloyster is way too good. And I thought Cloyster would die to Life Orb. Nope, Cloyster is ready for one more attack, and uh, just just kind of go for the bug buzz again and Licky Ton goes for the sleep talk gets the dragon tail I was afraid it was gonna hit cloister and that would KO cloister but nope it hits Butterfree go figure and basically uh, Scizor is in here but now a Staraptor comes in with Intimidate and it's gonna go for the quick attack on cloister so cloister can't do anything anymore and I just go for the sword stance, because I, I figured the Licky Tone was going to go for rest, probably. I didn't think it was going to do anything like a, uh, like a Dragon Tail or anything. And now I put in Suicune. And let me tell you something. Suicune's amazing. Like, this, this combo I chose, it's just a really good combination. Bug and water, that's like, that's, it's an amazing combination. I can't even... I, I don't know how to explain it. So I go for the I went for the bullet punch from Straptor as my sweet can set up a calm mind. And the Straptor lives. The Staraptor is going to go for a quick attack just to get damage on Suicune, I guess. And I go for another bullet punch, and that is going to KO the Staraptor. I'm assuming it was Choice Banded. Because why would he keep going for the quick attack if he wasn't Choice Banded? And well, this Legaton's gonna go for the sleep talk. And it's going to get the curse, which I'm like, oh no, that could be problematic. Except, you know, for the fact that Suicune and Scizor can now gain up on a Licky Ton. So I go for a Sword Stance, because I just want to get up all that power. And I go for a Calm Mind on Suicune, and the Licky Ton goes for a Sleep Talk, because, well, it's still asleep. And it gets another curse. What are the odds of that? Okay, well, uh... So, Scizor is gonna still have a little bit of problem breaking through, but... 
Scizor is like a plus one above this Licky Tones defense right now. So Brick Break does a good hefty amount, and I'm like, oh, Scout will finish it off. Nope. Licky Tones survives with a smidgen and Dragon Tails the Scizor out, because I guess he figured the Scizor was more direct threat. And then Galvantula is going to come in, and you know what Galvantula does? The spam spider just loves to spam all its moves and bug buzz the Licky Tun. And that's the match. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys will come check out the group. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description. And I'm an Elite Four with the combination bug and water, so now you know. So comment, like, and sub, and see you on Pokemon Global.